Okay, along my mingle of ashen, Nimaga or Tautai Jung will remember, he signed company a broader specialist preparation. But Hama Uza, Dinis and Babulo Day, ACC FJ, twenty twenty per two webinago, Saint Pibi Rata Yapitare, Sierra Maru Alongo, Jesu Tutin Shijang, Jota Lubarishan. Dinis and Bare webina Bueli Masoyan, Sierra Professor Ukema Wenga Nipiro, Moderator Pipa and I Pawe Motrago, Semipedia Dreta, Chichi Professor Yumi Kaida Langa Nipiro, Panelist and Nine, Pawe Yona Makavene, Moderator Apile, Usan Sunipi Doma. Now, tell Pawan Sunipim panelist Niagaro, Sia Dauda Jota Tong, Ama Dauda Jota Nue Une, Sia G, Professor Nai to know web separation. Okay, but I know Maro, question and answer session to Pare, D session ma, Megum, Mia, Minia Sunilogen, Shiga Lucian, but we know a question and answer Pauscani to say, Megum Nego, Sunin is in Dream Mayo, Sunim Pisong in Yamayo, people Mimia Talo Yavarishin. Question and answer session ma, Pawan Mimia Sunipi Utra Gule, Nimaga Pekoviazishin. Okay, a cool solution in ACC update 2020 per two webinar is at the match to a Mulu, moderator at his own yabi by NTT, Professor Nyomi Kaitan Line, Professor and Head of Department of Hepatology, Shangong Specialty Hospital, University of Medicine 1 R, Lisa Sapin Pita Evaluation. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, a little late for about six minutes uh, to start the webinar of uh, Section 2, Heptocellular Carcinoma. Actually, uh, like the mod, um, Master of Ceremony said, uh, as you may know, Prof. Kamawin is having a COVID-19 infection, and so uh, he cannot. He cannot chair the session, so I have to take the responsibility. Uh, thank you for assigning me as the chairman, chairperson of the session by, by Prof. Kamawin and design company. Thank you very much. Uh, before I go straight to the part two session, I need to uh, I need to uh, say the previous sections salient points. So. I would like to share this slides uh, done by the previous uh, last week speakers. So last week we had a uh, four speakers. The first one is epidemiology of H. Uh, which is which was addressed by Dr. C. Dulin, consultant hepatologist, Department of Hepatology, Mandy General Hospital. According to according to his presentation, according to his presentation, uh, we, 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 he's he said, ACC is the fifth most common cancer worldwide and second most common cause of cancer-related deaths in 2015. Approximately 75% of liver cancers occur in Asia, with China accounting for more than 50% of the world burden. Hepatocellular carcinoma is a heterogeneous tumor. Both incidence and mortality are increasing nowadays. The incidence of ACC is likely to increase over the next 10 to 20 years and uh, maybe peak around 2030. Year 2030, and uh, you, you can see that ACC incidence is uh, mostly in China and Southeast Asia region, including Myanmar. Uh, another topic is risk factor of HCC, which is ad addressed by Dr. Mi Jito, senior consultant, associate professor, Department of Hepatology, Yangon Specialty Hospital. She said cirrhosis is the major risk factor for hepatocellular carcinoma development and therefore long term follower is necessary in any cirrhotic patients. Other risk factors of HCC are uh, aflatoxin, 
absolute trust, vinyl chloride, steroid, cystosomiasis, iron, tobacco, and diet. But do you all know that the uh, uh, you all know that there are uh, uh, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, alcohol, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, major risk factor for the HCC. Dr. Nanke Devin, Senior Consultant Hepatologist, Associate Professor, Department of Hepatology, Manmi Chanya Hospital, addressed on screening and surveillance of hepatocellular carcinoma. ACC surveillance is associated with improved early detection and improved overall survival. And also, prognosis depends on tumor stage at the time of diagnosis. She said, the patient detected at an early stage can undergo curative therapy and achieve five-year survival, exceeding 70%. Therefore, we need to follow the patient. We have to make the surveillance of HCC. The interval should be based on the tumor traveling time, four to six months, and tumor incident and target formulation. She also quotes the ESL practice guideline 2018 for HCC. Surveillance is recommended in any cirrhotic patients, whether child to stage A or B, and any cirrhotic patients, child to C, awaiting liver transplantation. However, although the patient is non cirrhotic, having hepatitis B infection, and the patient always had an intermediate or high risk, risk of hepatocellular carcinoma. Therefore, viral hepatitis B patients need to be followed regularly for detection of HCC, although the patient is non serotic The last topic is pathogenesis of hepatocellular carcinoma, which was addressed by me last week. The take home message for the pathogenesis of HCC is the development of hepatocellular carcinoma never goes for, um, sporadically. It can be viewed as a Darwinian progression through a spectrum from normal to malignancy. Stepwise accumulation of multiple gene events occur in hepatocellular carcinogenesis. Such mutations can be found in pre-neoplastic lesions and also in early stage of HCC. Thus, such promoter mutations correlate with tumor initiation. Mutations in other genes like C53, ETNNB1, they are associated with later stages of HCC progression, causing further genomic modification. Signaling pathways, especially when beta catenin are apparently activated in HCC development and may relate to future therapeutic uh, management. HCC is a prototypical inflammation associated cancer. These are all those salient points made last week's webinar, Hepatocellular Carcinoma session. Thank you very much. So today, uh, this, today we, I have to chair the webinar session two for Hepatocellular Carcinoma. Today's speakers are four. Uh, the first one is consultant hepatologist, Dr. Jodhaton. Uh, from the Department of Hepatology, Mandy Chania Hospital. He will talk on the diagnosis of HCC. And the second speaker will be Senior Consultant Hepatologist, Associate Professor Dr. Ten Wei Wu from Yangon Specialty Hospital, University of Medicine One. He will show the clinical applications related to the pathology. And the third speaker will be no other than Professor Dr. Nai Nai Ton. He will speak on staging by different uh, liver cancers and different societies and different uh, liver centers. Finally, I need to 
article on the current and novel therapeutic management of HCP. Thank you very much. So without ado, I have to call on Dr. Jota Ton, consultant hepatologist, Yangon, uh, Department of Hepatology, Manley General Hospital, to speak on to speak how to diagnose uh, HCP. Before he goes straight to the uh, uh, presentation, I have to uh, I have to mention uh, a few, uh, two cases. The first one, 67 year old executive officer from Yangon was referred to Yangon liver OPD for SOL in the liver on 4th October 2019. He is a known case of chronic hepatitis B with diabetes, mellitus, and hypertension since February 2013. He attended a family, uh, family doctor regularly with tenophobia, 300 milligram once a day from 2015 May. And he is taking the antiviral without fail up to now. He is non-smoker, non-drinker, non-beta chewer. Uh, his liver profile, um, more or less normal. Albumin also normal, INR normal, creatinine normal, platelet count is normal, very low level of viremia of the hepatitis B virus. Alpha fetoprotein also normal. Therefore, he is having a child Q Grade A score five by fifteen. He is uh, sorry. Uh, his uh, physical performance status is zero to one because he is having a sun or uh, big dyspepsia, uh, dyspepsia, and he is attending the follow up. Another case is seventy year old woman from Sitwe. He presented with woman history of right upper quadrant discomfort and poor appetite. He is a known case of hepatitis B viral infection and having cirrhosis last two years. Her ACV infection was cured with DAA two years ago. And she also has more or less a uh, uh, normal liver profile and normal platelet count and renal profile. So she is Taltakopi grade A, school 5 and 15, and eco. Uh, physical performance data zero to one. So, thank you very much. So, Dr. Jatatron, please. Now, uh, 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 good afternoon, uh, uh, everybody. But I was on in a deep way of Chinyan City made it. Say you come on in a general professor, some of you don't you make online, don't you make online or do a Jesu Tenshi body. Now, deep way of Sitan made it. I saw a psycho meal at Jesu Nai Tenshi body. I didn't need to know if you want me buying our diagnosis of this is. According to disclosure, I have nothing to disclose. In diagnosis, uh, imaging-based diagnosis, ACC is one cancer that can be diagnosed by imaging techniques alone, which was accepted since 2001 and updated in 2005. Imaging-based diagnosis relies on particular vascular derangement, which occurs during carcinogenesis and of high pretest probability of ACC in cirrhosis. Contrast-enhanced imaging methods are necessary for diagnosis and are based on vascular phases. Unlike most solid cancer, diagnosis of ACC can be established and treatment rendered based on imaging without biopsy confirmation. Even when biopsy is needed, Imaging usually is required for the guidance. AFV and other serum biomarkers generally have a minor role in diagnosis of ACC. Also in ESA 2018, 
it says that diagnosis of PCC in cirrhotic patients should be based on non-invasive criteria and or pathology. Level of evidence is high and grade of recommendation strong. Uh, this is the diagnosis algorithm, which was taken from ESA in cirrhotic patients. And that when we find a mass uh, that is less than one centimeter, we don't need further investigation. We have to repeat ultrasound every four monthly for one year. If it is stable and no further growth, we we can reduce to surveillance, we can reduce the surveillance to every six monthly ultrasound. If a tumor is growing more than one centimeter and changing pattern, and we have to proceed for contrast enhanced imaging procedures such as CT or MRI. If there is one positive technique that is ACC imaging hallmark positive, we can diagnose him as ACC. If there's no imaging hallmark, we have to proceed for another imaging modality. That, that is, if we use CT in the first imaging, we have to proceed for MRI, contrast enhanced MRI or contrast enhanced ultrasound. And then if we find uh, ultrasound imaging, uh, sorry, ACC imaging hallmark, of a uh, hallmark, we can diagnose ACC. If not, we have to consider for biopsy. In biopsy, uh, it is not confirmed. We have to consider for redo biopsy. Uh, the typical hallmark of ACC is the combination of hypervascularity in late arterial phase that is arterial phase hyper enhancement according to LIRES criteria and wash out on photovenous and or delay phases, which reflects the vascular derangement occurring during hepatocarcinogenesis. These criteria are known as, also known as LIRES-5 criteria, which is showing definite ACC. In the picture, you can see arterial phase hyper enhancement in arterial phase and wash out on photovenous phase and delay phases. This is another example of, of arterial phase hyper enhancements and wash out on photovenous phase of CT flame. This table shows the LIRES criteria for diagnosis of ACC. On observation, when we seen the mass with typical hallmarks of ACC, you can diagnose him as LIRES-5 criteria, which is definite ACC. So we have to do multidisciplinary dis discussion form for consensus management. LIRES-4 is a probable ACC. For that, uh, we a uh, multidisciplinary discussion for tailored workup. And for that, we may need biopsy. For Lyris M, it is malignancy, white strike malignancy apart from ACC. For that, we have to consider multidisciplinary discussion for tailored workup. And also, biopsy should be considered. Lyris TIV criteria is the Lyris tumor in vein. It, uh, definitely due to ACC. In that, multidisciplinary discussion is needed for tailored workup and biopsy should be also considered in that. Lyra's three criteria is intermediate probability for ACC. So we should repeat our alternative diagnostic imaging in next three to six months. Lyra's two cr criteria is the uh, probably benign leaching, and we can return the surveillance to six monthly program or consider repeat diagnostic imaging in four to six months. Virus one criteria is definitely benign lesions, and we can continue surveillance every six monthly. Virus NC is virus non categorizable lesion, so we can repeat or alternative diagnostic imaging in next three months. Lyra's negative is uh, there is no mass detected on observation and 
we can do surveillance every six months. Virus 5. Virus 5 is definite, definite XCC, and it is consistent with organ procurement and transplantation network OPTN class 5 criteria. Other ancillary features such as T2 hyper intensity, diffusion restriction, and exact intralesional that can increase the radiologist's confidence of ACC, but can, we cannot establish the diagnosis in the absence of typical hallmarks of ACC. For virus 5, biopsy is not needed to confirm diagnosis. This is another example of virus 5 on MRI imaging. Virus 4 is a probable ACC. One example is a more than or equal two centimeter encapsulated lesion with arterial phase hyper enhancement, but no workshop. Another example is a lesion that enhances to the same degree as liver in arterial phase, but enhances less, that is hypo enhance in post arterial phases. Differential diagnosis for virus 4 include dysplastic nodule and other benign and non ACC lignant neoplasm. This is the examples of virus 4 lesion showing on MRI. In that, you can see in arterial phase 2, there is no arterial phase hyper enhancement. But on border venous phase and delay phases, there is non peripheral washout. Actually, this uh, six months prior to that lesion, the lesion was only six millimeter. Now it's increased to seven, 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter. That is the threshold growth is more than 50% within six months. So we can categorize this lesion as virus 5, definite ACC. This is another example of virus 4, probable ACC on CT imaging. Lyrus 3 indicates an intermediate probability of ACC. One common example is a small nodular area of arterial hyperphase, arterial phase hyper enhancement, which is not present on other phases. Differential diagnosis includes both benign and malignant lesion, that is, vascular pseudo lesion, example, arterial border shunts, and other small ACC. Lyrus 3, this is the example of 18 millimeter observation in 46 year old men with cirrhosis. In arterial phase, there is no arterial phase hyper enhancement, but in order venous and delay phases, there is non peripheral washout, fainting peripheral washout, non peripheral washout. This is another example of seven centimeter lesion observed in 66 year old men with cirrhosis. There's in, this, in that lesion, there is no arterial phase hyper enhancement and no washout, but there is no due in nodular appearance on delay phase. Lyras M is the observation with features highly suggestive of malignancy, but not specific species for ACC. Such features include rim arterial phase hyper enhancement and peripheral washout appearance with delay central enhancement and target right diffusion restriction. Uh, these features are characteristic of intrahepatic cholangial carcinoma, but can also be observed in atypical ACC. This is the example of Lyras M, which show widespread malignancy with target right lesion. Uh, this is likely intrahepatic cholangial carcinoma or combined ACC and Cholangiocarcinoma. Lyra's TIV is tumor in vein and definitely due to ACC. In the CD film, you can see the ACC lesion with tumor in vein, left for a vein. So, this is also related to malignancy or ACC. Lyras 1 and 2 indicates Lyras for Lyras 1, it is definitely benign, and Lyras 2 is probably benign lesion. These include cysts, atypical hemangioma, perfusion alteration, hepatic fat deposition, 
hypertrophic seroma, confluent fibrosis or focal scar, and distinct, distinctive nodule without lignin features. Most likely, BIRAP2 criteria. This is the example of cyst in CT. You can see a small cyst in pre contrast arterial phase and for venous phase, no changes. This is the, another example for hemangioma on CT and MRI. Uh, this table shows the probability of ACC and other malignancy according to LIRAS cri criteria. For LIRAS 1, there is no, no risk of ACC and malignancy. For LIRAS 2, there is 16% of ACC. For LIRAS 3, there is 37% of ACC. For LIRAS 4, there is 74% chance for, of ACC. And for LIRAS 5, there is 95% of ACC. For LIRAS M, there is 33% of ACC and 94% for other malignancy. Of LIRAS 3 lesions follow prospectively for 24 months, 6 to 15% will convert to ACC. For LIRAS 4, up to 46 to 68 percent will change to ACC in next 24 months. Another diagnostic imaging is ultrasound imaging. Ultrasound appearance of ACC is variable and is also operator dependent. So it needs to evaluate the entire liver, not to overlook small, not, not to overlook small liver mass. Small ACC can be homogeneously hyperechoic and can sometimes mimic hemangioma. Other small ACC can appear hyperechoic. Larger ACC appear frequently mixed in echogenesis, that is hyper and hypoechoic. This is the examples of a small ACC on ultrasound imaging, only visible as a discrete nodule, nodule but on MRI, there is for a venous space washout present. So, this is probably ACC lesion. Uh, these are the uh, features of ACC on ultrasound imaging. On the first picture, you can see hypo echoic lesions in ultrasound of ACC. On the second image, there is hyper echoic mass, which look like hemangioma lesion of ACC. On the third picture, there is a large hyper and hypo echoic lesions of ACC in ultrasound imaging. So in ultrasound, we can see many patterns of ACC. Another one is contrast and then ultrasound. This is the another method that is used for ACC diagnosis in expert centers. A recent meter analysis of contrast and dense ultrasound for ACC showed a pool sensitivity of 85% and specificity of 91%. But prospective studies are still needed to further assess the role of contrast and dense ultrasound in diagnosis for ACC. Uh, this is the examples of contrast and dense ultrasound lesions. Here you can see arterial phase hyper enhancement lesions in one minute and more than one minute there is Washout, mild washout lesion. So this is ACC, IRS-5 criteria. On the second one, that is IRS M criteria. We can see as target dry lesions here with mark washout on delay phases. FTG PET scan in ACC diagnosis. ACC is not a very avid tumor for FTG PET as uptake is observed only in less than 40% of cases and most well-differentiated ACC are 18 F FTG PET negative. So FTG PET scan is not recommended for diagnosis of ACC because of high rate of false negative cases. Diagnosis of ACC in non serotic liver. Imaging features of ACC in non serotic levels are not different from cirrhosis. ACC tend to be larger at diagnosis as patients are not enrolled in surveillance program. 
specificity of emitting hormones, that is arterial free cycle enhancement and washout, is lower than in cirrhosis, as alternative diagnoses are seen more commonly, that is hepatocellular adenoma and hypervascular metastasis. So, diagnosis of ACC in non cirrhosis require pathological proof. I'll proceed to biomarkers. The first one is AFP and its limitation. If AFP is more than or equal to 20, we need vigilance for any ACC in liver. If AFP is more than or equal to 100, there is moderate or too high probability of ACC. If AFP is more than or equal to 200, there is high probability of ACC. But only 40 to 60% sensitive because many tumors do not produce AFP at all or only at advanced stage. Elevated AFP can also be seen in other active liver diseases and regeneration after hepatectomy and in pregnancy. Serial three to six monthly AFP other than single value can more accurately identify very early or early stage ACC. And serial levels can also be used as monitoring tool for treatment response. New biomarkers for diagnosis of ACC. Uh, uh, these are with uh, phase three validation data. The first one is AFPL3, sucosylated glycoform of AFP. If AFPL3 more than 10%, it has 71 sensitivity and 63% specificity for ACC. If levels more, more than 35%, it has 33% sensitivity and 100% specificity for ACC. But it can only be applied in patients with AFP level between 10 and 20 nanogram per deciliter. The other one is DCP or PIPCA2. The level more than 60 milli AU per mil has 60% sensitivity and 88% specificity for ACC. Increased level can also be seen in some patients with normal level AFP. It can also be used as a monitoring level for treatment response. The other new biomarkers in phase two are osteopontin, glycogen 3, alpha 1, fibrocytis, Golgi protein 73, squamous cell carcinogen, carcinoma antigen, and genomic markers. Pathological diagnosis. Pathological diagnosis is the gold standard in defining ACC and is differential diagnosis by doing liver biopsy. It is based on the criteria of WHO and international consensus group for hepatocellular neoplasia. Liver biopsy should be considered in a liver mass, not typical for ACC or contrast and imaging, especially for LR4 or LRM. Liver biopsy can be done via transcutaneous or transjugular approach or intraoperatively. Uh, this is the biopsy specimen limb of tumor cells. Uh, this is a specimen for ACC. Uh, this will be discussed in detail by Professor Tenmen Wu. Abstaining for biomarkers including glycogen 3, heat shock protein 70, and glutamine synthetase on histology has been proposed to help distinguish ACC. When two of these markers were positive, uh, overall accuracy of ACC de detection was 78.4% with 100% specificity. And I will go finally for the assessment for treatment response. Currently, amuresis, modified response evaluation criteria in solid tumors are the recommended criteria to assess treatment response according to ESA guideline using CT or MRI imaging. Also in assessing the effect of local regional treatments Evidence unequivocally suggests that amuresis are superior to criteria based on total tumor measurements. According to amuresis, largest diameter of the arterialized portion of a maximum of five target lesions, maximum two lesions per organ, should be measured. A threshold defining partial response and progressive disease is similar to that defined by research criteria. Uh, this is the definition of research criteria. I won't go into uh, Here in this figure, you can see the 
uh, ACC lesion, 24 millimeter lesions on MRI at segment eight with alpha fetoprotein, more than 1,500. After RFE, three weeks after RFE, in second imaging, you can see there is complete disappearance of arterial, con con uh, arterial contrast. So complete response according to MRESIS criteria. Uh, I'm showing this table uh, that we, we do imaging after treatment, uh, especially in one to two months. So we should uh, do uh, for a treatment response uh, imaging in after one to two months of procedures. And I will go into conclusions. ACC is a unique cancer that can be diagnosed by imaging method alone and also for treatment response assessment. Regular service surveillance using ultrasound and or ELP every six months is the basic need for detecting very early or early stage ACC to give curative treatment procedures to achieve five year survival more than 75%. AFP and other serum biomarkers generally have a minor role in the diagnosis of ACC, but helpful for treatment response or recurrence. Pathological diagnosis will be needed in a mask with no typical feature of ACC. This is the end and thanks all for your time and attention. Oh, okay. So after making uh, after after having uh, after having the diagnosis of ACC, uh, in my case, yeah. Uh, so, his ultrasound diagnosis is the case when ultrasound abdomen review and ill defined mixed acrogenic SOL in the right lobe around 3.5 into 4.2 centimeter and the diagnosis is group the radiological impression is QV HCC, QV fatty infiltration. CT scan abdomen was rotated and reported as HCC boot load, QV multifocal or QV uh, intrahepatic uh, metastasis with um, primary in the segment seven and eight, six point seven in the six in the five point seven centimeter, and smaller nodules in segment two and three, the largest around a two centimeter, but no other involvement are seen. First case, second case. And that, uh, second case also ultrasound review and large liquid with masses in the left leg and cordial leg. It's a big one, 9.2 has water hydration and underlying cirrhosis. CT scan abdomen confirmed the tuna with intrahepatic metastasis also noted in the segment three. And it also into the portal hepatic. The two esophageal diseases are also seen in the CT scan, and there are uh, two small pulmonary nodules in uh, CT scan uh, in, in right lenses of the CT scan. So the radiological impression is seen to be liver cirrhosis and portal hypertension and lung metastasis. So, we have the patient, we, uh, we are diagnosed by imaging. Uh, and now, what we will have to uh, manage this three patients. We go 
before we go straight to the uh, management, we have to uh, do our future prospects by uh, by learning the pathology and clinical entities. This will be talk by Dr. Kanuri, Senior Consultant Pathologist, Associate Professor, uh, University of Medicine One, Yangon Specialty Hospital. Of hepatology. So, ten minutes, please. Hello, my name Today, we load the ACC web now. Today, I will show you. So, we are going to do the CIU. 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 We are going to do the ACC management. We are going to do the CIU. What is the any role of pathology in the current? ACC management, is there any advance in pathology and what will be the clinical applications so we the subheading leading the Jima Swinwe Dwama Chepare. Shema let out us see that no more previous is on your door to our door. Jima ACC diagnosed low data, the DICA radiological imaging technique in the DICA app you are. The pay cover is part of pathological diagnosis go low up laser. Radiological imaging loaded at Kama, small atypical findings he treated, damn inconclusive findings he treated, small tumor leading solution of small pathological diagnosis lower, not quite a nasarotic patient. And I'm your solution at the child that differential, which more is too low for drug, pathological diagnosis lower. The SLD or ESO, Nakuzaloma, the same recommendation, the one male which model of your tower. I met Maro, my challenging aspect is Shibari, to a small ACC leader, which Maro, perhaps you read Kama, to the reliable histological specimen in Yabu, but a pathological interpretation Yashi was right, to a challenging penny by it. And our ACC, to Maro, the normal histology, Jamie or review look team as a solution for Talia or to Maro, the Liver Organization Liver, Habit and Lovu, Legama, Santama, Central Vinci, a town leader, a solution of my portrait tribe. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. If you try a little bit more, you can try a little bit more. ACC Sura, but the genesis car in Paga Marton meeting here about Lope, or Darwinian Revolution, the sporadic event Mohopu, sink and sink a few years in Jangle Lara Jete, and a line chronic Leva Shivi solutions, but a dispersed for Sali Polame, dispersed for Sali Rama, dispersed no Jew, Saint Yama. A dispersed no Jew at the Kero, Maro, bring malignant condition, the malignant potential she did, to a mother say Ali ACC dollar car, progress ACC dollar car to a Jangle Donai. He dispersed no jury, which is more radiological imaging, diagnosed local in the Kepari, two words, more pathological diagnosis, Yama, Kepari. Not a put to any beer, more test in Vira Tuame, and Ali Blakeman changed Pietuame solution. I Ali Blakeman, ACC, Lydia, more radiological matacatica, more atypical finding lane, diagnosis, Bianima. You know, Ali ACC, so that's more pathological diagnosis, never Aduama, Chepari. Histology of early malignant transformation is a cheap solution. Normal histology is not only going to be cell density increased, nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio is not going to be the trabecular pattern is not going to be the pseudo-gland function is not going to be the same. Now, we have to try it with the solution. Paid arteries are not going to be the same. Paid arteries are not going to be the same. Paid arteries are not going to be the same. Paid arteries are not going to be the same. Lalu mesti lah, benda new vascularisation jauh vascularity di bumi alam. The classic ACC yang tua bi solution, ACC ada pada dekat orang hepatocyte differentiation. Tumbuh sel ini, apa itu macam jelah solution, hepatocyte ni tu deh. Tapi macam tu rasa thickness ya, 
normal cell thickness is all right. I'm not too too happy. Trabecular pull down, not too much. I don't know me so trabecular ACC is my little own idea. Now to my side, the chart other structural anomalies is she the sinusoidal line is very lost. That's why me the stroke me infection is she me. You know cellular ATP is my little too nice. Crop it down, that's why we use open line. The trabecular type la, pseudo glandular type la. I'm looking compact cell type delay. Can I mind? Now, pathology is advanced for the immunohistochemistry. The immunohistochemistry is the immunohistochemistry. The immunohistochemistry is the early diagnosis. The immunohistochemistry is the early diagnosis. The immunohistochemistry is the phenotype differentiation. The immunohistochemistry is the early diagnosis. The immunohistochemistry is the early diagnosis. The immunohistochemistry is the early diagnosis. The immunohistochemistry Jadi, nampak macam mana histologi itu base lau biru apa? Isi sih macam mana classification yang kuat. Alam tu tiada time. Macam mana W itu classification solusi? Well differentiated, moderately differentiated, poorly or undifferentiated. Tapi kalau nuclear kredi mahu tu biru apa? Atmosfer classification so biru. Shibare kredi one two three four so biru. Nampak histologi kita pada ni ribu mahu tu biru apa? Macam mana additional subtypes ni ribu shibari ribu. Currently, the ACC subtype has no major impact on clinical decision making. Over two to three decades ago, the pathology advances developed. Novel cutting edge technology is available, especially in the cancer research. DNA microarray study, RNA sequencing technology is developed. The whole cancer genome, epigenome, transcriptomes, or it's about study low line. It's about a hepatocarcinogenesis mass solution of a gene variation, a somatic alteration, a molecular pathway, it's about a developed low line bureau, the whole genetic landscape of ACCO, who be understandable. Here we are, it's about a next sequencing technology, it's about a new lead your genome. And you know, it's about a histology in a phenomic study, it's about a DNAO, genomic study. Epigenetics, micro-RNA, long non-coding RNA, DNA methylation, chromatic modification, epigenetic study, type 2B. Recently, solution is RNA transcription, transcriptomics, developed. The RNA is a protein synthesis, messenger RNA, Translation and RNA shime, transcription and RNA shime. The RNA lady at Maro day to day ma varies per day. Now we look at environmental conditions that or multi-bureau that will vary per day. I vary per day to our lotion at Maro to a lot of protein alteration in jet. I the protein alteration in Maro a tumor pathology ma the ambulance study low data per day. The new technology to develop a lot of great job low Maro a Tumor genesis could be understandable today. Tomorrow, ACC mass solution level, genetic predisposition. Below Luria, the tumor ACC PNIG, she lays with this predisposition of Maro Sabio, the line. Snips low courage, Maro single nucleotide polymorphism, Tomorrow and the fine long line. Pabilo Shin, the tumor risk factor, Sabo, Smallo molecular fingerprints low courage, exogenous endogenous risk factor association. Tomorrow, I try to find low line. Now, to simple. My ACC development team, ACC progression. I must do a driver gene sequence. But today, I'm a man who be a genetics man. Just do a little bit. Tomorrow, driver gene sequence. Tomorrow, I try to find low line. And the genetic predisposition, the molecular fingerprints, the driver gene sequence, what we do, we do. ACC phenotype is a little bit more complicated. Dinaik itu buat macam orang alih ACC ni, buat advance ACC itu, ACC progression macam pada di protein alteration sendiri tu, di bawah tu dia summarize lebih jauh hara macam pada. New teknologi jauh macam orang awak gene study ni, molecular study ni, develop jalan, lola ni ni kahai macam orang awak di ACC classification, modify lebih classification ni, jahai macam orang di over the two decades lah tu macam develop jalan ni, no. Kita nak soal macam mana di European French group kan ni biro, di integrated pathology ni molecular classification ni alam paham biro, biro tu meja classification nak kuwe biro kuwe lagi barai proliferative group ni, non proliferative group so biro. Proliferative group di mana? Di China macam mana? 
hepatitis B related ACC body, Rusimazo, FR fetal protein, dead. The vascular invasion and yare, the cell type got aggressive to much at a Puali differentiated digit. So immune IAC stay G line, so a CK19 positive. CK19 positive chitters with all the vascular invasion in association pushide, we are a pithile misycamer transitions and angiogenesis in association she. Genetic features in G line resolution to a PP53 mutation she, chromosomal instability through my boomyare. Not quite immunologic and in a G line resolution, through my immune cell infiltration shield. I don't want to also ask which part of who body the immunotherapy in B resolution, respond to the also Mahopu. Next club color to the non proliferative class, but no, D also the mapare. ACC, alcohol, hepatitis related, associated ACC. mutation, ACC, less aggressive ไอ้ตัวสีมาโชซับกรุ๊ปเตียโซโลจีอิมมิวนเซลอินฟิลทรีชั่นเนี่ยชื่อเดียวจ้ะบ่โชซับไทป์เซลล์จ้ะบ่
the tumor you did like my solution to my year white color to do you try to my fibrosis it up to our to chat out of hypercasemia and associated to the tumor type the eyes is they don't do my solution to our CK90 positive kid I don't want a rock to say so that I buy next type college for a progenitor data to blow it to classification and my body wow the progenitor cell type college model study the low gd comma to chat out good data as model ACCO, local regional therapy, be like it. Be like it, come on, local regional therapy. Now, recurrence for it, come on, D-type, the recurrence for it, so we are steady here, do it, right? And my father confirmation, I want to do what it is. You know, local with two, I guess, let's take a steady, low gd, come on, local regional therapy, be like it, solution, the sub, the heat treatment, you know, but epithelial, we say, kind of transition, I don't know, I say, I get a defect, progenitor cells, yeah, express, look, do it, look, do it. To our prognosis so bad. Now, type the core of our lymphoepithelioma like ACC local. The lymphoepithelioma like ACC local are of our Titabule, Epstein Bar virus, some children, this of Frenchia to Maribo, to our lymphoepithelioma river, to the histology to the general general as more a local. The good now by the blue H or two lymphocyte variants of your core, to our histology model a little bit. Immune cells infiltrate low net to it. Caracaja, lymph aggregates in to it. And I jump to our immunotherapy famous favorable outcome. Yeah, I might. Next, the poor road, the fibrolemel like that. Power is part of the generator, the Tavi Dapa, 1956 Locria, the Juma described low target. No, I'm a good now by molecular study low deck cover to your pathonomonic genetic feature. Jet a fusion gene, tomorrow to it. I have not been seeing Jalus and its model to target the therapy. Jan and Lara's one, you only marry to what in a Korea to a almost as common at Kemma Paris, such a good recession, low time resolution of our survival. Count is such what of the Tabi Dava. Now, like the coach at the combined hepatic colon to casino money, it's model sarcomet right type. He typed the cool out of the prognosis so bad. The combined hepatic colon geo solutions for hepatocycle biliary differentiation to smash it at the time to aggressive jet. And also recent study that's model to the part of the last row. This model the ACCO local regional therapy to be the ablation of based on low data comma. The low type urea, the right to my recurrence and in a general bureau develop low lottery. So we don't do about it. To a theory at hypothesis to jar. The therapeutic intervention low light at Kajaro, a tema general resistant tumor, I jam and mark low light the locate barbiro, the roa, the hepatocycle biliary or differentiation chipiro, the mixed type in the Jabiro Poala, the look, you are to it Havare, the Metamara Father confirmation in the Dubadi. Prognosis Karadura, so bare. The sarcometroid type, to level and over previous therapy, you talosin, sarcometroid change pietware, sarcometroid change pietware at the Jamlo, to my sarcoman to a prognosis mutango. A trapecular ACC machine or a dredging to a fafito protein to a metabolism. Hello, you tomorrow advance the morphomolecular correlation, histopathological variance, the lara at dredging low, tomorrow are the diagnosis in my popular improved jet. Now we are to read to my type view, tomorrow prognosis go assess low learning. I am at the same tomorrow personalized medicine, Begumia, tomorrow a banja in Kula and I'm last row, tomorrow the Clinical application, ma, sepira, jodoh ma, cepat. Di zaman saya ma, jodoh itu lupa. Cuma satu dia, terus prognosis saya prepek lama ni. Cuma ro MPM type solution ni, cuma ro sore, cuma ro ayam ma surgery macam ni, ablation macam ni, cuma ro low bleed macam ni. Di disease free survival tu re, ro overall prolapse ni pelik ro pelik lama ni. Nah progenitor type solution ni, kalau local regional terapi ni, baby ma recurrence lama ni, kalau prognosis so bad. Kalau orang tu cuma MPM satu type, progenitor satu type, TV solusi. Cuma orang ni adjuvant terapi ni, terus dia kau sensor biar ni. Abi lusi, local regional terapi ni, B dua B B ni, terus afferent registration for liver transplant testing ni, cuma local sensor awak ni. Atau cuma orang cuma orang cytokine cytokine ada 19 positif je dek cuma ni. Di cuma ni cuma orang prognosis macam mau, kerja je dek, biro treatment model ni start orang ni awu, terus dia resistant je dek. Aku orang sakit metra ACC ba. Tu alat kena macam apa juga dulu ke? Prognosis sura itu mah awal. Ada dia pun pak. Nanti cuma tak dia pun. Baru awa di patologi ke prognostik pakar sih oleh cuma aku cuma develop lagi lain ni. EMT transition 
Maro stem cell markers, if you take a cytokeratin 19, or got epithelial addition molecule, CD1933, or got carbon and nitrous 90, DRIO tomorrow, previous solution, DRIO tomorrow, conventional chemotherapy, which is the EAC, Lumutis, tomorrow, incomplete response, which is the time. Okay, I think I'm going to go to the next one. So, ACC management, which is the targeted therapy, BYA. Tyrosinkylase inhibitor, response biomarker, molecular study, development of Sorafin, Sorafin, and Pathavir, already validated predictive effect of a Trativa, Sorafin response gene, Sorafin resistant biomarker, tomorrow steadily my great high people. Now, Pujaki Maro, develop Rigorafinib so let's tomorrow resource trial. Do a response fit that biomarkers is tomorrow to it are five proteins she did, macro ionic, go good on tomorrow she is a great heart. Hilo Hamuri is she a little is a rigorafinib illusion of response are gamma chip. Not quarter tomorrow clinic a card or respect to put it AF people. AF be dead and Lurima tomorrow Rambosi room at Biloshin. He responds on this or a wish three, wish two steady, but face three trial at Trapani Chipari. Hilo Mio tomorrow. The personalized medicine area of those are. That's what a sorafin nip to lavatin nip to rigorafin is sensitively genuine. It's more recently, my tomorrow ended a fight. Don't I need to buy? How do you met over expression? She is a CCD solution. The med in the bit of the pony nip bonus solution response counters or a steady lady. Tomorrow, try to have you to buy. Now, so many that's more immunotherapy. A good model don't have it. But immunotherapy, a biomarker, see you later. The Molecular study, low bureau, tomorrow, develop shit, shit, lavi, shit, and much more ACCD, much more immune class, she, immune class, she, ACCD, much more immunotherapy, payloads, and response, gown, much it. The immune class, the yards, more immune, intrajuma, immune cells, she, intrajuma, tertiary lymphoid structure, she, immune cells, she, 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 Natural history, young cow maybe so immune cell infiltration theory at the time immunotherapy pollution or the favorable outcome. City in for side theory and a large machine, my yoga the way, but response coming. I'll go a beta get the name mutated ACC solution, beta get the near to the immune cell or the block block tie. I don't immunotherapy pollution to a response machine. I'll go at tomorrow, such very low period come a histology, chill I do. In five structures, it will be a solution as part of the result of current scenarios around you, which might predict low nine. The little lymphoid structure machine, the MDM type to scare us type to solution, immunotherapy illusion, respond to low nine results, or predict low nine in Japan. The little biomarkers video is part of a tone below, the tumor type personalized medicine, but which might be the tone to the low Java. I don't know the conclusion in a domain solution, no? But our histopathology still has an important role in ACC management, not only in ACC diagnosis, but also in the ACC treatment and ACC sort of biomarker response to it. Now, for pre-treatment workup, my solution is going to be my yoga, but for molecular setbacks, implement low nine solution, it's not only personalized therapeutic strategy to develop low nine in my body. The two setback be our solution, the Biopolar response to GP law treatment to current SMP. I just want to combine treatment with BMLA, I'm a juvenile therapy, Layamla, so we don't want to consider lower much about it. Now, so we don't want to artificial intelligence, so computational pathology, so a good or entire doma, we get it. I don't know the Harry Donji, I think tomorrow ACC, early diagnosis, Yame, you know, ACC management, Malay, tomorrow phenotype and like personalized strategy, the domain solution, you know, now they be jogging near future. Maro ACC management clinic outcomes here will be gone on my chip. I look your name, I look your name, it's my question. You're going to buy it. Thank you. Thank you, Benway, for your excellent presentation. So uh, let's move on uh, to another topic about the classic staging by different labor centers and <laughs> shall I stop video shall I change?
uh, staging by different liver, uh, uh, li uh, different liver societies and uh, liver centers by uh, Professor Dr. Nai Nai Chon, uh, Department of Hepatology, Yangon Specialty Hospital, University of Medicine, and then I please. Thank you, Ma. Alume Minglaba. Uh, I would like to thank especially Sayi Kumawe and my teachers and my colleagues. Today, I will just get on the stages of the ecstasy by different liver centers and the liver society. This is my disclosure. Knowledge for the stages of the hepatocellular uh, carcinoma, the staging system for any other malignancy have a key role in the management because uh, given the, um, the staging system gave the accurate prognostic stratifications of the tumor and then providing the choice of the best therapeutic approach. Moreover, by using these staging systems, we can group, we can make the grouping of the patients homogeneously in the clinical trials, and then we can compare the patients in different clinical studies. So what are the expectations of the clinicians from, uh, what are the expectations of the clinician from the ID Staging system. ID staging, staging system should be simple and easy to apply, and should can it can give the quick determination as soon as possible after diagnosis. It should provide the information on the prognosis and guide the therapeutic decisions. Each staging system and the prognosis score must be reproducible and externally validated. So let's come back to the hepatocellular carcinoma. Unfortunately, ACC diagnosis late in the course, usually. The median survival following the diagnosis range approximately six to 12 months. So we have available therapeutic options and number of options, which are detected by the complex interplay of the tumor stage and the essence of the underlying liver disease. So we can't only uh, Emphasize on the tumor stage and the tumor morphology. We also think about the, we also consider the underlying liver dysfunctions in this setting. So we have a number of systems has been proposed to predict the prognosis of the HCC, but none of which has been universe, universally adopted. Some staging systems very rarely incorporate full features which has been recognized as being the important determinants of the survival. First, first one is the severity of the underlying liver disease. Second is the size of the tumor, and that is extension of the tumor into the adjacent structures, and the, the last is the presence or absence of the metastasis. In generally, uh, the staging systems of the ACC can be divided into two categories. The first is the staging systems of the diagnosis, um, prognosis, stratifications, and the therapeutic approach. The second is scoring system for the predicting tumor recurrence after initial treatment, for example, retreat and the MORA school. And these scoring systems I'll discuss later. This slide reminds us the development timeline of the ACC staging systems. Here we can see the occluder proposed in 1984, and followed by the CLIPS staging systems four years later, and then one year after crash and the VCLC, and then 2000, at the 2002, CUPI, TNM, and 2003, GINS, and so on. The, on 2014, we have a LB, and then Hong Kong liver cancer staging system. 
takes a bit, a bit busy table showing the comparisons of the different types of cellular carcinoma staging systems. Here we can see the several studies trying to find out the predicted value of the different staging systems and they're trying to find out the best staging system. During the 2002 and then throughout the period up to 2012 and up to now, sent on the different uh, patient population as well as gender or some different population like the surgery or the patient undergoing radiotherapy and so on. So I'll proceed my presentations uh, with the four most commonly used systems in order of the proposal timeline. First is Occuter, second is CLIP and TNM, and then followed by the BCLC. In addition to these commonly four staging systems, the other staging systems we have, some are validated in the uh, Eastern countries, some were validated in the Western countries, but Albumin Billy Rin School, Albi School, is, it is neither Eastern nor Western because it is multi center. Let me start with the Arcuta staging system, which was developed 1984. The Arcuta staging system is very simple and very easy to apply. The staging system has four parameters. It, it is the first attempt to successfully combine the structural morphology of the tumor into the um, features or the parameters of the liver dispension like the SID, albumin, and the bilirubins. So we need to give the one point for the each parameter if patient have. So final, finally, if there is a no positive parameter, the Arcuta stage one. If there is a one to two positive parameters, Arcuta stage in two, and then three and four for the stage three. Arcuta stage systems tell us the severity of the cirrhosis and is purely clinical scoring system. So very easy to apply even in bedside setting. But the negative points are the it doesn't tell the vascular invasion and presence or absence of the nodal metastasis. Because of the more advanced diagnosis techniques, Arcular system is no longer uh, popular nowadays because the clinicians are more and more uh, demanding for the precise staging systems. Then next system is the Italian staging system, CLIP. CLIP integrated CDB score to morphology, alpha fetoprotein, and bordovane thumbus. CLIP performed the better in predicting of the survival compared with the earlier version of the TMN, Arcuta, or CDB score. It is suggested by the survey study, and then CLIP system is also externally validated. The disadvantage of the CLIPs are absence of the general well being assessment and unable to identify the early stages. Next is a TMN statins. Now we have a new version of the TMN statins, which have a more significant changes of the primary tumor classification and compare with the previous version, which was a 2010. The TMN statin is only one that is validated in the patient treated with either hepatitis recession or the transplantation of the ACC. TMN stagings had the good prognosis potential with the uh, latest addition of the staging by div subdividing the primary tumor according to the size and the microvascular invasions. It has been validated in patients undergoing the recession. But this advantage of the TMN Staging R. It doesn't tell the fibrosis score of the liver, it doesn't tell the histology state, uh, histology grade, and alpha fetal level and the MEL score are not included in TMN staging.
Now so let's move to the Barcelona clean liver cancer staging. Sorry. So I do believe, or I don't need to introduce the BCLC stages uh, with audience, to the audience, because it's quite popular and is very nicely integrate the HTML, of the liver dysfunction, performance status, and the Juma baron. So let me remind with the performance status, which, uh, which uh, refer the BCLC system. So the BCLC system use the ECOS staging, uh, performance status, uh, staging systems. And the, uh, here we can see the uh, performance status of the ECOS uh, from zero to the, sorry, from zero to the uh, four. Zero is a normal activity and four begins the patients begin the bed bound. And so I would like to remind the Chinese school also. The BCLC use the Chinese school as the extent of the liver dispension. Chinese school has the five parameter, as we all know, bilirubin, albumin, BT, ascites, and hepatic encephalopathy. So we have uh, we need to uh, score in for the uh, each and every parameters as a one point, a two point, or three points. After calculating, if patient get the score five to six, chine A, score seven to nine means the chine B and 10 to 15 for the chine C. And then this, the, this slide shows the clinical algorithms for the management of HCC based on the PCLC. Here again, so we can see the PCLC is very nicely integrate the performance data, HNL of the liver dispensions, and then to my parent. The BCLC staging is a great five, include the five grades, grade zero, A, B, C, and D. In the very early stage, stage zero, it preserves the liver function. Patient has no symptom and the solitary nodule less than two centimeter. In case of the early stage, stage A, it is quite similar to the very early stage, but the tumor morphology is quite different. A patient might have a solitary nodule more than two centimeter of any sign, or the more than two or three nodules, not more than the three centimeter. In the BCLC stages, stage early stage and the stage A can um, offer the uh, curative management like the liver recession, ablation, transplantation. In case of the intermediate stage, PCLC stage P, patient also uh, might have a, a present liver function. Patient may have a, a asymptomatic, may asymptomatic, performance status zero, and but uh, the multi nodula and the more than three nodules, more than three nodules. This, in this stage, the optimum management is the local region and therapy. The event stage, BCLC stage C, the present level function, that's the eco stage one, two, and then patient may have a multi, uh, sorry, may, may have a microvascular invasion or the extra hepatitis spread. At the time, so we can offer the systemic therapies. And BCLC stage D, in this setting, uh, we need to ask uh, one question to ourselves. Is this uh, patient is transplantable or not? If it is not transplantable, the only best supported care can offer. This is the disadvantage of the BCLC staging. Some centers and some society criticize BCLC is algorithmic rather than the patient center approach. They disagree some principles of the algorithm. Now the several larger studies show the other prog prognostic scoring systems outperform the BCLC staging classifications. 
So some studies show the treatment outside the PCLC can impact the outcomes of these patients. Let me proceed the other staging systems developed by the Western countries. There is a crash. The prospective cohort of 761 ACC, 24 center. It is multi centers in the French, Belgium, and Canada during the period of 30 months. The parameters include the Karnovsky index, bilirubin, alkaline force phosphatase, uh, alpha fetoprotein, and then ultrasonographic evidence of the body obsession. The disadvantage is, is not well validated and not widely used staging system. To make the complete presentation in time, sir, I would like to skip the, this slide. This slide only show the risk estimation of the tumor recurrence after transplant, which is developed by the University of California. And the Morris score also the, uh, quite similar to the retreat. The scoring system for the recurrence after liver transplantation using the PK2 and the alpha P2. Other staging system in the Eastern country, we have a Chinese University Prognosis Index Japan Integrated Scoring System, Tokyo Score, and the Hong Kong Liver Cancer in 2014. CPUI, which was developed in 2002, adding the five prognostic factors to the TMN. The negative points of the staging system is monocentric and the mono, mono -adrid, only in the Chinese population and so most, of, most of the patients have the HPV related rather than the other etiology. So another system is a Japan integrated staging, system, staging score. It's combined two existing classification named TMN and the CHINE score. It's widely used in the Japan. The negative point is lack of external validation, especially Western countries. The next is Tokyo score developed in 2005. In patients with ACC treated by the bacteriogenesis ablation, the parameters include albumin, bilirubin, size and number of the tumor, and predicted power this score result equal to the clip and better than the PCLC stages. But the, the disadvantage of the, the staging system is drive on the cohort of the patient with the early ACC is not fit to the patient with the advanced ACC. Next is a Hong Kong liver cancer staging system. This is the, the approach is a bit similar to the PCLC. Here we can see the integrated portion of the ECOT station and then CHINE also includes in this staging system and to assess the liver dimensions and then Hong Kong liver center staging system also includes the extrahepatic vascular invasion or metastasis. This staging system has five, sub, uh, five groups and nine subgroups to make the better uh, approach to different therapeutic models by the recession, liver transplantation, DAC, and the ablation. The gut point is based on the four prognosis factors for, by means of the ECOT, time, tumor status, extrahepatic vascular invasion, or metastasis. There's a cohort of the more than 3,800 patients. But the thing we need to consider is the uh, most of the patient is HPV related and then validated in the single institute. So European prospect cohort of the more than nearly 1,700 patients of ACC. The findings reveal PCLC staging system found the, found the better predictor of the uh, overall survival than the Hong Kong liver cancer staging system. Now the next scoring system is the albumin bilirubin LV score system. It is simple objective for assessing the liver Function in patient with ACC. In multivariate analysis, bilirubin and albumin emerge as the only two non tumor related variables 
that influence the survival and the deviations. After scoring the LV systems, we can get a uh, we can categorize the patients with the LB grade one, two, three. So LB grade LB scoring system is validated more than five thousand patients around the world. It is multi center. In the uh, patients of the different treatment cohort, it provides a simple, evidence based, objective, discriminatory methods of the assessing the liver function. It may diminish in the observer variation. Then it allows the better refinement of the prognostic estimate of the patients with the wise patterns of the treatment models. These tables reveal the variables included in the main prognosis system. The main, uh, the different uh, prognosis system and staging system use the different variables. So I have discussed uh, the advantage and the disadvantage of the different staging systems. And now so we are uh, trying to find out the best staging system. But um, so far, uh, no consensus has obtained. So to take the growing attention is a focus to look out for the new progressive markers, able to increase the power of predictions of the existing uh, staging system. For example, serum VJET level, VEGF level, the, if we integrate to the existing CLIP system, so what we call the VCLIT staging. For example, plasma insulin-like growth factor level, we integrate to the CLIP system, so iClip staging. That's why so we can make a uh, better efficacy, uh, better efficient uh, pro, uh, staging system and uh, pro prognosis systems. Moreover, the measurement of the uh, cancer cell survival and growth factors, gene expression, profiling the, may improve the prognosis. Prognostics uh, assessment, for example, Fox M1, LK2, retitis enzyme. And then any other, more, more words, other novel markers are for the uh, scoring system, like the glycoprotein 73, transmembrane glycoprotein, and the glycoprotein 3. These has been studied and found to be promising biomarkers with the high sensitivity and specificity for the diagnosis of the ACC, especially in the normal FFT2 protein. So I would like to kind of, uh, conclude my presentation. So we are trying to find out the, the best staging systems and the varied, uh, variables they study, but no consensus up to now. The staging of the ACC is complex and the reliance on the multiple feathers, multiple feathers. No single staging system is apply, apply, uh, applicable to the all patients. So we need to use the different system in the different patients. For the time being, this LC is most commonly used staging system, including ASLD and as well as the European Society. According to the degree of the hepatic function loss and the heterogeneous nature of the tumor, the optimal management of the same patients remain controversial. So the continuing searching of the comprehensive staging system with appropriate treatment options to apply in the worldwide or ACC patient, despite the geographical, financial, and ideological difference. Genomic and proteomic more and more new biomarkers will be discovered in the future. So we can use in the clinical setting to make the uh, staging systems more efficient. These are the, my reference with this. I would like to conclude my presentation and thanks to the audience and the design for along I would like to thanks.
Uh, oh, my mom. Now we finish how to diagnose ACC. We we have finished uh, how to diagnose hepatocellular carcinoma and uh, clinical applications relate in re related to uh, based on the pathology and different staging systems by the uh, academic hepatology society. Now we have to deal with the uh, managed treatment. I have nothing to disclose, and I would like to say thank you to uh, Prof. Kimawin for chairing first session and for to Itai. <laughs> thank you very much uh, for insisting me to to make a, uh, to make ACC symposium happen, and all my dear colleagues who uh, who uh, took in the uh, presentation and uh, speaking of the related topics, science topics, and the audience who stayed uh, with us last week as well as this week. So Nainai has already mentioned about the PCLC staging and treatment strategy um, and other many, uh, several staging systems worldwide. Uh, but for research purposes, as well as for management purposes, uh, BCLC system is very easy to use. So I will uh, stick my management to this BCLC staging system. So, you know, we when we deal with a patient with HCC, we face many challenges because HCC is a common malignancy. It is a complex malignancy. Uh, repeatedly, we have we uh, me and my colleagues say it is a heterogeneous disease. It is a heterogeneous cancer with either the firewall etiology. HCC has complex molecular carcinogenesis with many molecular mutations, uh, signaling pathways, cytokines, uh, many many uh, innate adaptive immune system involvement, as well as uh, chronic inflammatory cascade. Therefore, uh, the uh, ACC is staged by many uh, uh, different societies worldwide, and they produce several prognostications, uh, prognostic systems. You all know that HCC has a uh, tendency to invade the vessel. It has propensity for vascular invasion. These are making the malignancy complex to deal with. Another one is if you have a patient with HCC, you have to remember this patient has two diseases. Number one, liver cirrhosis. Number two, liver cancer. And these two diseases have a synergistic impact on management and prognosis. So in first case, this is straightforward. Hepatitis B, chronic hepatitis B related liver cirrhosis and malignant transformation. And it is in the stage of PCLC stage B with child grade lip result, liver function, and uh, more or less symptomatic or mild symptom. So, in a simplified way, uh, he has the inter, uh, intermediate stage B, uh, multifocal, huge tumor in the huge tumor in the uh, segment seven and eight, 
and also smaller ones, smaller, many, uh, several smaller ones in left lobe. So intermediate stage B. Preserve liver function, tally, absence of significant cancer related symptoms. So this case has to be deal with TACE case. But you, you know, in intermediate stage ATC or BGLCB, it's a very heterogeneous patient population. In such patients, some patients may have a single large tumor like this one, this case one, or uh, uh, with multifocal uh, smaller ones. And they may have a preserved liver function, child A, or a little deterioration in liver function with child B goes up to seven. And, but they don't have no vascular invasion or no extra hepatic spread. Uh, they, they are more or less symptomatic, asymptomatic with physical performance status, ECOG stage two. But they are quite varied in terms of tumor burden. Large and respectable to multinodular like this case one, and uh, they may have a, a good liver function to a little deterioration in liver function up to child sarcopy B9, and some may have a ascites and some may have a mild encephalopathy. However, uh, all the recommended worldwide guidelines, famous ASLD and EGLE, recommend that TAC is the gold standard of intermediate stage HTC. Previously, there are no prognostic score symptoms. In, in 2019, one and colleagues uh, published a paper mentioning the six and 12 prognostic score for case. It uses linear predictor three, with three strata of some of the largest tumor diameter in centimeter plus tumor number. So we can predict the median overall survival in men. If the score is equal to less than six, uh, it is 49%, yeah, no, 49.1. 49 and six and, between six and 12, 32 and more than 12, 15. So the higher the score, uh, the, that the, the, the prognosis will be worse and worse. And also the applicability of this in BCLCB or in the intermediate stage patient has is about 50 to 60% because of the liver function and technical consideration. I would like to remind, that, remind you that there are absolute contraindications of this. These are factors related to cirrhosis, decompensated child with score more than eight, including jaundice, critical HE, hepatic encephalopathy, refractory ascites, and or hepatorenal syndrome. And on imaging, uh, hepatofugal blood flow and impaired bottle venous thrombosis, uh, blood flow, bottle vein, such as bottle vein thrombosis. It is contraindicated. Tumor related factor is extensive tumor involving the entire foot lobes of the liver or tumorous bottle venous thrombosis. There can be technical contraindications for the hepatic intraarterial treatment case, it's an, and also renal insufficiency, creatinine more than two, or creatinine clearance less than 30. This is the absolute contraindications. There are some relative contraindications such as the esophageal diseases at high risk of bleeding. So uh, prophylaxis and uh, EVL um, has to be done before this. And also if the tumor is large or if the tumor involves more than uh, two segments and if there are some comorbid conditions like a, a coronary artery disease or Something are uh, some uh, comorbid conditions and impaired organ function. And if the patient has aerobilia or biliary predilection, uh, the case is a relative contraindication. But 
this is the standard treatment for BPLCD. In such cases, patient, there are some drawbacks. Inpatient administ admission to the hospital is necessary, and the safety of the days uh, in a patient with ACC having photovenous thrombosis is questionable, and this has to be repeated at, uh, at least twice because most of the tumors are large. And if the tumor is more than two, involves more than two segments, it's not recommended. And downstaging by this leads to only 31% within million criteria. The cost is comparable to the recent, the cost is comparable to the tyrosine kinase inhibitor systemic uh, therapy. The survival is more or less uh, equivalent to the PCLC stage two uh, uh, result. Therefore, we are moving towards the tyrosine kinase inhibitor. That's a, a my treatment migration concept. Why we have to move to the tyrosine kinase inhibitor in earlier stage of the disease? There are some rationally and early evidence because of the uh, this and ACC is a vascular tumor. The vessels are very leaky, and there can there will be abnormal flow, and also interstitial hypertension, very tumor edema, and ineffective delivery of the oxygen and nutrients due to this leads to uh, hypoxia in the uh, around the tumor area. So that central hypoxia, vessel compression by edema, leads to starvation. Starvation, and it propagates the, it enhances the tumor growth. Who are all? How do you know? Look, did I want to? Please, they look like no tumor. That's a tumor. Look, we saw that. But that's the last supply. No cut off domain. La the nutrients and oxygen. No material. No illumination. So like that. Be me. Because of the growth factor step propagation and also release of the anti apoptotic proteins, and it leads to the chemo and radiotherapy resistance. And also, the tumor immune response can be impaired. The like a cardian to a high total CD ADA neva bio, and a tumor in my infantumoral T Rex. I mean, regulated T cells, they are ovinial, and also PD1, PDL1 increase. That leads to the impaired tumor immune response and favors the tumor growth. And also, the angiogenic switch from the fruit angiogenic to anti angiogenic leading to um, more and more tumor angiogenesis and uh, tumor growth. Therefore, we, we, have to, uh, we have to adopt the treatment migration concept in such cases. The switch from the taste to tyrosine kinase inhibitors like sorafenib or levantinib First line systemic therapy or molecular targeted agents should be performed in due time so as to avoid a deterioration of the liver function caused by this. So, Arterial veins, so we block the arm in surrounding to non tumorous tissue involved in the care. Raman in liver insufficiency and many tumor living necrosis yami. Now we met the ting and marin, so so no appeal to our city and yaji jamu lube, tumanga, your surrounding tissue yama, la hypoxia yare, la di the signaling part we used in the vascular growth factors to involve the me, hydro king say palare to the job. Hello, 
Being staged by Yemen, me then, the high you was <laughs> such a new look, me then, now the cool, now the thing, or cold be bullier. Or any congruence there, comma, DCLC stage be a sane, DCLC stage be a single, my fate is CD, systemic therapy, and a molecular target which agents be thongy zoo, cool I am a bono, and a cool a comma, and a manoja would all do that. The town timely referable. ပြပြလို့ရှိရင်ညီမီတို့ကဟာလားအချိန်အချိန်ညီပြရမယ်အချိန်ညီထရန်စဖာမလုပ်လို့ရှိရင်အပြစ်ရှိတယ်ဆိ
had uh, progression disease control rate and safety. So in this slide, in this figure, uh, you can see clearly that sorafenibis has improved overall survival in, uh, in the graph compared with the placebo. The subgroup analysis includes poor performance status and borderline thrombosis also. Therefore, concept of treatment stage migration uh, has approved in uh, approved by the SHARP trial. Median overall survival was 14, 14 months for the patients on serafinib with a placebo median survival of 11.4 months. Time to progression was seven months in UPLC stage P. Therefore, uh, the other trials in my submission need to be brought because Serafinib is a very good agent in terms of survival benefit, and uh, we are using the serafinib um, quite um, in many patients. However, after 10 years, another tyrosine kinase inhibitor in reflex trial. Oh, this is the uh, serafinib uh, treatment related adverse effects. Many diarrhea, uh, the uh, hand food reaction, and also fatigue and weight loss. Yes. Liver dysfunction also can be observed. This is the uh, serafinib induced dermatological manifestations, so very bad, and people cannot tolerate those symptoms. But you see, uh, these symptoms actually indicate the response of the tumor to the serafinib. Uh, the patient frequently stopped the drug. So after 10 years, we have another uh, potent limit, uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor, French line levantinib. So levantinib was compared in a resectable HPC, and the total number is around 950. All patients are in resectable HPC, and no prior systemic therapy, child A, BCLC, B or C, with performance status 0 to 1. Overall, survival is the primary endpoint. You may, uh, you may, you may think these two lines are quite similar, quite uh, more or less, not so much so different. But in the table, you can clearly see that overall response rate is very high, twenty-four point one percent in levantinib and only 9.2% in serafinib M. It's a big difference between levantinib and serafinib. Time to progression, progression-free survival also significantly greater than the result of the serafinib. And also in subgroup analysis, most of the groups are shifting to the left, favoring the levantinib including by age, gender, micro, microvascular invasion. However, extrahepatic spread taro to a lemare shige, tichane hariyaro to a bevey out of favorable, favorable, favorable to treat hegu paribo, no? Regardless of the l protein protein, actually it seems even there may be a little bit more shifted to the levantinib for the higher AFP angle. Alpha fetal protein, uh, alpha fetal protein, nyare lui solution and the ventanib being kaumibo. No, not the kuacharo, alpha fetal, hepatitis C solution, you know, surafinica, bumiara, bubio, what it is in the Malaysia, the Asia Pacific, quiet Malay, surafinia, CDC, Malay, kaumibo, it have been made to the 
majority are have CV marching or Sulakinika Pukang. Advanced events, because I have a lot of dermatological problems, skin problems, manifestation, and I have a lot of problems. You can see that in great more than three skin reactions are 11 in seropinib group. Seropinib group is only 3% in levantinib group. Therefore, uh, levantinib uh, patients on levantinib can take the medicine longer than the, uh, the patients, patients group on seropinib. The problem is levantinib has a little bit uh, higher hypertension, uh, uh, higher uh, percentage of hypertension than the seropinib group. But the hypertension is easily manageable. Therefore, conclusion of the Shabbasa's reflex trial is seropinib improves the survival of Bansha's placebo. Leventanib reflex trial, according to reflex trial, Leventanib is not superior to the Surafinib for overall survival, but increases the response rate and delays the progression compared with Surafinib. Um, there was less painful reaction with Surafinib and a bit more high tension with Leventanib. Therefore, Leventanib is an alternative treatment option to the Surafinib. Uh, Surafinib, Taumna, Leventanib, Taumna, so first line change to the world. Uh, side effects go, Jau Lu Shin, or skin reactions, Yama Jau Bian Shin, or Leventanib, Kauna. But now, Leventanib reflects prior on the Nesu Kataro because Leventanib has a better indicator of activity. Here. Uh, anti cancer activity, she get a feeling objective response rate, the progression free survival, the like, time to progression, Italia, Konoma, to a better uh, activity, better uh, move, uh, really, uh, result, yeah, uh, and the toxicity is not so much. It is quite acceptable, and um, the patient on Leventanib has a superior quality of life, and also the patient has less. Painful reaction due to Leventanib. The patient can tolerate the drug and lead and drug that leads to the longer treatment duration. And the, the dosage is quite weight based, um, more, less equal to or less than 60 kg. 8 milligram has to be used. If more than 60 kg, body weight 12 milligram has to be used. So the trial design is very uh, favorable for the success of the left uh, reflex trial. Why Surafinib has that great uh, result? So because Levent sorry, Leventanib has a great result over Surafinib. You can see in the uh, drawing, Leventanib has many effects on the uh, Vascular endothelial growth factor receptors 1 to 4, as well as Surafinib or Ragurafinib only has the limited uh, action on the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor 2. The end. Leventanib has a dual action leading to the and the cancer activity. Therefore, I put the um, case, uh, case, case two, uh, sorry, case one, in contaminate HCC, PCLC stage three, extensive multifocal disease involving right lobe and left lobe, no portal venous thrombosis with child A, uh, and almost absence of cancer related symptoms. He is, he was diagnosed on 7 October last year, and he has five this on 16 and uh, 10 days after the diagnosis and after two months PAC was repeated but unfortunately maybe because of the technical difficulties or whatever I don't know the radio interventional 
uh, radiologist did only trans arterial chemo in tissue not embolization. And the tumor is growing, so uh, he is to find, he was defined as safe and suitable patient. And he has been taking 11 10, 10 milligram OD uh, from that time to uh, now. So I would like to say uh, take home messages. Number one is levantinib is non-inferior dyserapine for overall survival. And also levantinib increases the response rates and delays progression than serapinib. And another one is how do we choose the right treatment to the patient to achieve the goal to prolong the overall survival and to maintain the quality of life in our patients? We need to consider the three factors in every line of therapy. ကိုပေးတဲ့အာတိပေးလို့လင်းမရဘူးဆိုတော့အဲ့တော့ပေးရှင်ဆက်တာနေနဲ့ကိုမော်ဗစ်ဒီဘီစီတလားနာနိုင
ဒီကောင်းတရားမှာပေါ့เนาะကျူမာဘယ်လိုဒီဗလော့ပ်ဖြစ်မယ်နော်မယ်လေဗာမှာဘယ်လိုဒီဗလော့ပ်ဖြစ
ဟာလာဝိုင်းအစိတ်မှာလဲရှိနေဝိုင်းဂျေးမှာလဲရှိတဲ့ခဏလဲเนาะအဲ့လိုမျိုးဆိုတော့အဲ့ဒါလေးလ
several classifications and staging systems. I would like to ask which system you sh we should follow in our center. ကလာစီဖိကေးရှင်းနေတဲ့မှာဘုရားအကောင်းဆုံးလဲတဲ့စစ်တမ်းလိုက်မလဲတဲ့ဒီမှာကကျွန်တော်ပရီဇန်တေ
ဒီဘီလိုမြန်မာကွန်စင်စစ်ဥပဏ္ဏရေဒီဘီလိုစိတ်ကြီးဆွဲလဲဖြစ်တာပဲဒါပြည်မဲ့ဒါကိုဒီ
treatment model these marginal the the kunapio refinement status so the overall refinement status are like again you see that we jump low a it's a delay test in that the the choice in that ima the following some best should be male kunalo tisa feasible pita subyo lockdown yuri shi jen shi me rarega kuna upama biya no kuna bclc Eko nene TVA lobi lo, jono jono seite mar alu chen. TVA lo de bisi alu di time to time to time to abe nene TVA lobi o nene to aji e alu to aji e chima jono presentation mar le sana sta kupare tu a kali jalu chen impact on the outcomes and patient survival mar impact si le sura o te chu study le mar tu ilage le tu jam lo ta de bisi alu si le tu a we pan abo no pretty lo da bo is now the ID staging system e ID kuna bo le algorithm mar we point is she does well. A little bit of a meeting. The W Mele, I think the setting model is about opinion of Lua Lime. Mama, I'm not sure. Mama, I'm not sure. Mama, I'm not sure. Mama, I'm not sure. Actually, management of the HCC with bottle venous thrombosis is a critical, very critical and clinical and critical challenge and clinical dilemma. No, but I think our main concern now, why we, why we have to we have not to do this in for a patient in an ACC patient with bottle venous thrombosis. Of two main concern in Pura. Number one, not to do a liver, yeah, liver function will collapse up, liver function detail you reach in line. No, but let's so the liver ma blood supply impaired to do she in Dua, and the liver non tumorous tissue, but she is a young Alma to one. Liver function deterioration, she nine at the crew. Not the point at all. And the embolize will get come on it. The embolism, Janine. And I'm going to tell you, 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 to have new solution or bottle venous thrombosis to yeah and then we met that who go on go to now go my evidence may see you go on go to now shop you're not allowed to go on looking for shilling are you send out my you are my mother of your good and I will look at good enough to look down to be a look for but I met to get an evidence base and in it to get how strong you are but bias my body in it or to get present or to give it and do now who survival go impact to the law Time to progress in the town in the land, and you live in the world, and since I will do my. And I read upon my movie, be on my way, hello, a bottle of Venus from both the CFP and you, hello, the love, no man, look to the road, or some kept in a case by case, eh, hello, overall recommendation in a people that will be best, best society, I'm on him a people, a go long at all, hello, bottle of Venus from both the solution, eh, to a, hello, the name, who are ya, the balloon, hello, no, 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 Dari me trial ini ne research ini ne tu yang no jare. Namun alumni tu yang no tu belum ni jare. Boleh belum di publish belum di deh. Dari me ne 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 ni ni ne consensus ne meta analysis mah kembar nak cek lari ibu no. Aku jauh jiru ni ne jaro jaro ko 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 dah luna cia me solution no. Cepat ya me luna insist lo deh jare. Kau lo mah we so ne ko lo 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 yang me ko. Nah, jadi lo in contraindication ni lo sih ya, boh. Nah, alu ya kau ni. No, asal ni kalau kita ni macam tu, tu ni ada tu, tu juga famous tu, tu belum dia ada. Well renowned tu, coba mana mejo, nama ji society ni nak kuat contraindication lo khabar ni lo. Asal lo contraindication lo kau ni usah. Jadi nolong orang kau ni lo asal lo tenis tenis lo lihat tenis tenis tu ni. Kau aku tenis lo dia balik, kau malam tu dia balik. Eh, dah me. Di hari itu kita sekali lagi orang orang memahui channel ini kau nak boleh. Oh, berdua mana mari serangan. Sometimes time time will answer. Cina cina kalau tu kuat sahaja bima. Kira kalau pada dinas thrombosis dan management is very challenging and causing a lot of clinical dilemma in our clinical practice. Kalau tu kuat molecular tangkai tu terlebih. How can we choose Surafine or Levima according to the etiology of HCC venous in a hepatitis B and hepatitis C? Etiology will base the view of the blue ring. Now, we have to say that 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 we
Dr. Aiba, Associate Professor, Senior Consultant Hepatologist, Dr. Tenue Ru Kibiuti Apiova. Okay, Mama. Each part of the study is the Lila Kama, Taket Therapy, Changing, Tomorrow Compello de Kama, Tomorrow Etiology, the Table of Study, Don't Look Day. Tama Etiology, Peace, a year, a infection, Mara. ဒါကတဲ့တော်ပီယာပိုနိုင်တယ်ပဲအင်ဖက်ရှင်းတော့ကိုကောင်းတယ်ဆိုရင်စတဒီကတော့အကွယ်ရီဒီတိချက်က
啊，像这个被称为米拉的 ，How do we proceed, Violet Tree？ 嗯。Okay. Uh, uh, Minus three criteria to my intermediate probability of for ACC the Roma Shiva. Eh, all those are the normal to the ah, uh, ah, benign lesion of the nine, the malignant lesion of the nine. All those are normal. Balu amle so eh, two are normal at least ah. Don't know long time ago, we did an investigation of the normal repeat load of the nine. It could contrast enhance CT or MRI imaging it to amle. Not quite. Lyra's three D, a six to fifteen percent. Ah, in two years duration, ah, ACC the Roma diagnosis, beyond one nine. Ah, and also the closely follow up note them. Ah, the Lyra's three D lesion. Ah, not quite. Okay, one year. Okay. Now we want to cool our roads. Yeah, yeah. We just have that. Now 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 we just have that. Indications for ACC for liver transplant question mark will be that. Criteria for good response. Now the prevalence of ACC the last one to two decades would be present. So the indications of ACC for liver transplant are the need to make your counting in the mama party to tell the transplant is out of ten target of us. ไอ้ตัวตัวนี้มีดูคุณละปะนั่นคือว่ากูดเรสไอ้ตัวทรานส์เพลนไอ้ตัวฮาร์โรมาบ่าวกันเนาะนั่นคือว่าประเภทนั
อ่าปาร์ติสิเปนซาเลนอ่าตัวเราอยู่มีอยู่ที่ราบตัวราดีกูสวยสิสิเนซาวนาทองนี้เลยเลยเจสุเตมาเลยเซอะเราอ่าเ